Diddy is Kai Sinat? Diddy <coughs> is Kai Sinat. Spot on. They don't even try to hide it anymore. The truth is in plain sight. <laughs> Damn, this was spot on. It's ironic that Kai pranked A Boogie because Diddy has a song with A Boogie. I knew it. I, I knew it. it. So, so that means it was it was a KC one like and two, way before it was a KC three. So Diddy is KC one, Sabar is KC two, and you KC three. Damn, I knew it. Oh, you got me. Got your ass. <laughs> Diddy, you mean go right here? Just saying, no, Diddy. Just saying Diddy instead of instead of um pause. Okay. Just saying Diddy instead of pause. Yep. Yep. No, nah, I ain't gonna lie. No Diddy, what? No, no Diddy. No Diddy. No Diddy. Hey, no Diddy. What? <laughs> Bro, no Diddy. Hold on. Oh, we taking people to court. I'm ready to take you to court, little P Diddy Junior. I've been to a Diddy party. No. Don't follow this. Now. Wait, did they want to recruit? Oh hell no! Nah. Oh hell no! Diddy watch it. Hold on, wait. Diddy, get the f out of my chat, bro. Not me. I'm not going. Bro, get the f out of my chat, bro. You a f weirdo. It's like you don't really want me for real. You confusing me. You know what? F it. Let's go to the back right now. Don't tell me. I feel like it's a way for me to show you. Oh! <laughs> you just. Ah! Oh, this. Is a clone. Hey, no, 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 no. Hang on, no. Bro, I did not no, lock the door. You, you. Oh, I know you're a clone. You know I know you're a clone. You won't be able to run. Yeah, yo. Ah! Hey, 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 bro. Chill, bro. Yes. Hey, this is the last thing I ever do. Bro, my I, I don't give a what you say so he didn't even try to deny that either Dude, what and duke dennis also responded to her as well so this really shows how all of these live streamers are not real you know they try their hardest to seem like they're a real person but we can see their true colors when we expose them because of the way they respond has kai sanat been to a diddy party kai sanat yeah he, he's been to a couple of my parties i'll give him that he's a cool kid got a lot of energy and he knows how to get a crowd going. But like I said before, crowd, my parties ain't for just anyone. Kai's still a relatively new player in the industry, so I don't usually have him on my guest list. But hey, I like to throw a bone to the up and comers every now and then, you feel me? Diddy? I mother did, I'm P goddamn Diddy. Oh hell no. In this video, I'm going to be exposing all the damage control and all the responses that Diddy and Kai Sinet have done ever since me and Divine Shade exposed them. Because if you've been watching my channel for a long time, you guys already know that me and Divine Shade have exposed how Diddy is Kai Sinet for over two years now. So shout out to Divine Shade. She was the first one to make a video about this. As you guys can see, she made this video called Diddy is Kai Sinat two years ago. And after she made this video, Kai Sinat and Duke Dennis reacted to her video on their live streams multiple times. You guys can go watch those videos on her channel. I'll put a link to that in the description below. In this video, she put all of their responses in one video. She also exposed Duke Dennis. And after she made that video, Duke Dennis responded to her video on his live stream. And then Your Rage reacted to her video about that on his live stream. So they reacted to her video multiple times at this point. A few months after this happened, I made a video on this topic as well. And if you guys haven't noticed, every time we expose them, they come back and do more damage control. So even though they already responded to Divine Sade, since I made a video about it after, they ended up responding to me as well. Because after I made that video, Your Rage reacted to my video. Diddy got arrested and the entire case blew up. Because after I made this video, Diddy ends up trending for the situation with Cassie and all of that. You know, all of these allegations started happening after this video. Because if you guys remember, me and Divine Sade made these videos in 2022. And back then, nobody was talking about Diddy. And Kai Sinat wasn't even that famous yet. So don't you guys find it weird that after we expose Diddy for being Kai Sinet, Diddy ends up trending with this huge case and now he's all over the media 
because this is all damage control to our videos. They had to put him all over the media to distract everybody from the fact that we just exposed his other character. That's what they do every single time we expose these characters. So not only did they make Diddy trend all over social media for those nasty allegations, but Your Rage also reacted to my Diddy video about him being Kai Sinat. So you guys can go watch his entire reaction in this video that I made seven months ago. The link will be in the description below, along with all the other videos that me and Divine Shade have made about Diddy and Kai Sinat. I have an entire playlist of all these videos in the description. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys more responses that Kai Sinat and Diddy have done after my last video seven months ago. So when I made this video, I showed you guys all the responses that they did during that time period. But ever since then, they've been responding so much more. It's actually ridiculous how much they keep responding to us and admitting that they're the same. So make sure you guys watch this video all the way through because I will be showing more connections, more side-by-side -side comparisons that are completely undeniable like this one right here. And I'm also going to be showing you guys all of the responses that they made at the end of this video. So make sure you guys watch this entire video. So before I get into the video, I just want to let you guys know that the reason I haven't uploaded a video in over a month on this channel is because I've been consistently posting on my Patreon. So if you haven't subscribed to my Patreon, you're really missing out. So go subscribe right now if you're not already. The link to my Patreon is in the description below. Me and Divine Sade have been posting so many videos on there. We posted nine videos in the last month. So that's why we haven't really been posting on YouTube. So whenever you don't see us posting on YouTube, it's because we're posting so many videos on our Patreon. And here's two really good videos that we have about Diddy's voting agenda. As you guys can see, in 2004, he had this entire voting agenda where he was basically threatening people to vote. You know, I can't say the phrase, but you guys can read it for yourself on his shirt. And keep in mind, this was back in 2004. And now 20 years later, he's trending all over the media and it's another election year. So 20 years ago, in 2004, he was promoting voting during that election. And now 20 years later, he's all over the media during the election. I can't make this up. So if you guys want more information about that, join our Patreon so you can watch both of Divine Sade's videos on this topic. She exposed many more details about this that are very creepy. And then we also have another video on our Patreon about the predictive programming of this nine event. You know, I can't say the word, but you guys can see it for yourself. And then we also have new videos about G-Stalking. If you guys don't know what that is, you can go watch this video on our Patreon and it will explain everything you need to know about it along with this video as well. And then I also dropped two videos exposing how cash is not real money. So in case you guys didn't know, cash is not real money. And if you want to know what real money actually is, go join our Patreon and watch this video. There's so many gems in this video. It will teach you everything you need to know about money and how cash has no value because it's not real money. So if you want to know what to invest in and how to get real money, go watch this video. And I also did a part two exposing how rappers are brainwashing you to be broke. So go watch both of those videos to learn about money. The link to my Patreon is in the description below. So make sure you join the Patreon and be sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe if you're not already and share this video because this is going to be a groundbreaking video. I'm going to put all the evidence in one video. So let's get right into it. As you guys can see, it's very obvious that Kai Sinat was created based off the image of Diddy. As you guys can see, here's a really good comparison of Diddy and Kai Sinat. And in this picture on the right, Kai Sinat really looks like Diddy because of his haircut. So that makes it very easy to see. And they put this one in plain sight, you guys. Diddy is from New York, New York. And Kai Sinat is Diddy's new character on the world stage. And guess where he's from? He's also from New York, New York. So they literally put Diddy's new character in the same exact place that Diddy was from. I can't make this up, man. And they even have pictures where they're both wearing a New York hat to let you know how obvious this one is. You know, they let you know in plain sight. They don't even try to hide it anymore. The truth is in plain sight. <laughs> All the connections are there, but people are so dumb and blind that they can't see it. And this one is so obvious, man. Even a bot could see this one. Even Stevie Wonder and Ray Charles can see this one. That's how obvious this one is. Especially with these new comparisons that I made. 
I couldn't even believe how spot on these were. Damn, this was spot on! And keep in mind, Ray Charles and Stevie Wonder are not actually blind. I'll make a video on that later. But I just think it's funny to say that because this one is just way too obvious. Like, even the dumbest bot can see this one. So share this video with all of your friends and family because I feel like this one could really wake everybody up, especially since people are so distracted with Diddy right now. You know, people should really know that this is all fake. I'm tired of people thinking that this Diddy case is real because it's not. It's all a hoax and it's all a distraction to keep people on social media so that they can harvest their energy. Because Diddy is just a character. He was created to distract you. And that's why I made that video on Patreon. And we talked about this in one of my live streams. We talked about all of the distractions that they're putting in the media right now. All at the same time. Because if you believe that all of this stuff that you see on social media is real. Then you're going to give all of your energy to it. And now the demons that are behind these celebrities can harvest your energy. And ultimately devour your soul. So this is why it's very important to detach from celebrities and understand that they're fake so that you can save your soul. This is why I highly recommend you guys join my Patreon because we can go more into detail about these topics. I also offer phone calls to my Patreon subscribers so I can tell you guys personally all of the information that I know and I can answer all of you guys' questions because celebrities are harvesting your soul. If you're somebody that spends all of your days on social media and all of your energy believing that this stuff is real. So if your favorite YouTuber, TikToker, or media blogger is not telling you that this stuff is fake and that celebrities are fake and that they have multiple characters, then they're a part of the harvesting. They are a part of making you believe that this stuff is real so that they can harvest your soul. So people always want to say, oh, celebrities sold their soul. No, you sold your soul to the celebrities by believing that they're real. So you're selling your soul to these demons by believing that everything they do is real. Because look at how obvious it is that Diddy and Kaisenat are the same. I mean, this should really wake you up to the fact that celebrities are fake and that they're all made in a lab. Because I get a lot of questions from people saying, what do you mean this character is that character? What do you mean this celebrity is that celebrity? What I'm saying in these videos is that Diddy is a created character and I will be exposing his base character later on in the video. So Diddy was created based off another character and now that Diddy's getting older, they decided to create a new character to continue harvesting the energy and souls of the younger generation. So since Diddy's getting older, they said, all right, let's create a new character. And they designed all of the features in a computer. And they said, all right, rap is kind of dying. So we're going to make a streamer because people think they're real. So that's why they made a streamer character. And now he's continuing to harvest more souls and energy. So when they created Kai Sinat's character, they designed him on the computer with the same image as Diddy. So when they started creating the character, the base template was Diddy. And all they did was change a couple little features like for example they made him shorter they gave him dreads and made him a streamer and that's all they did it's that simple and if you guys want to know more information about how they do it go subscribe to my patreon we have two really good videos explaining how celebrities are created and generated i highly recommend you guys watch these videos if you're still confused or if you just want to know more information on how they do this we have two videos explaining this topic you guys can go watch these videos on our patreon the link's in the description below so even when kai Sinat has shades on he still looks a lot like diddy you know they can't hide forever they knew it was only a matter of time before we exposed this which is why they started doing so much damage control after me and Devon Shade exposed them. So here's some more good comparisons I made of Diddy and Kai Sinat's facial expressions because they make the same exact faces. As you guys can see right here, they're both making the exact same facial expression and they have the same exact features, man. This is why I'm saying when they created Kai Sinat, all they did was add some dreads, make him shorter and make him a streamer. Everything else is exactly the same. His eyes are the same. His nose is the same. His mouth is the same. Even down to the facial hair. And they have the same mannerisms as well as you guys can see by this photo. And right here you can really see the similarities in their eyes and with their head shape. In Divine Sade's first video, she showed this picture of Diddy on the right. And when Kai Sinat reacted to her video, he admitted that he looks like Diddy. Check this out. He decided to do this ball cap thing. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 he look like me. What the f***? Yeah, what the f***? 
why he decided to do this ball cap thing. <laughs> All right, and here's Diddy when he was pursuing. To like I said, if you guys want to watch Kai Sinet's full reaction to Divine Shadi's video, you guys can go watch her video where she put all of the reactions in one video. The link's in the description below. And I recommend you guys subscribe to her channel as well. She's been dropping some fire content on her channel recently. So now let's get into the Gematria connections with this one because not only do these two characters look so much alike, but they literally match up in Gematria. So if you don't know what Gematria is, it's basically the coding of the matrix. It's turning words into numbers because everything in this matrix is numbers. That's what they were trying to tell you with the matrix movies. So basically every single letter has a number associated with it. For example, A equals 1, B is 2, and C is 3, etc. This is why Michael Jackson has that song, A, B, C, it's easy as 1, 2, 3. He's letting you know that everything they do is gematria based and numerology based. Make sure you guys go check out our numerology book, by the way, on our Patreon as well. The link's in the description. I recommend you guys read that book so that you can get more information about numerology and why they use it. Because numbers have a certain energy. So by making these two characters the same, they made sure to make their names have the same numerical value in Gematria because it holds the same energy. So as you guys can see, Kai Sinet and Diddy have the same exact Gematria of 28 in the reduction cipher. And on top of that, Diddy equals 46 and Kai Sinet equals 64 in the ordinal cipher. And 64 is just 46 reversed. So it still holds the same value. Then we see that Kai Sinet also matches up with Diddy's real name. So Diddy's real name is Sean Combs. Sean Combs equals 152, just like Kai Sinet in the same cipher. And on top of that, both of their real names match up in three ciphers. Kai Sinet and Sean Combs both equal 28, 152, and 53 all in the same ciphers. In Divine Sade's video, she exposed how they have the same gematria, and when Kai reacted to her video, he was very shocked that she even pointed that out, and he didn't even deny it in the video. Check this out. Always involved in some sort of thing. What the f okay, so some crazy shit that I found that I really, really, really was shocked, and I decided to put in the beginning of this video, is the gematria with this one. When I entered the names, in the full reduction cipher, they all equal 28. I've never seen that with any of the characters that I exposed yet. So this is the first time I've seen three in a row. And then also Kai and Diddy, their stage names both have 64 and 46 in the same <laughs> cipher. These characters match up perfectly. What the f These characters match up perfectly. All right, so first thing- Then we see that their first names also share the same gematria. So Kai and Sean both equal 12 and 24 in the same two ciphers. And then their last names also share the same gematria. Combs and Sinet both equal 16 and 29 in the same ciphers. And on top of that, both of their last names start with a C and they're both five letters. I can't make this up, man. Even down to the numerology of their birthday, man. Everything about these characters is the same. So when you add up all the numbers in Diddy's birthday, you get 31. When you add up all the numbers in Kai Sinat's birthday, you get 31. So they both have the same exact numerology of 31, which breaks down to 4. So they have the same life path number of 4. I can't make this up, man. Why would they make these two characters have the same exact life path number with the same exact numerology of 31. And if you guys want to know more about life path numbers, you guys can join our Patreon and we'll give you a numerology reading on your life path number. And this provides more information about your life and how you can use your life path number and other numbers to succeed in your life. So I highly recommend you guys join the Patreon. Just private message us saying that you want a numerology reading and we'll give it to you within a few days. Shout out to everybody that's been joining because you guys have been saying that our numerology readings are really good. So that's really good to see that it's helping you guys. So the link to our Patreon is in the description. Another connection between these two characters is the fact that Diddy's birthday is November 4th, 1969 and Kai Sinat's birthday is December 16th, 2001. So this means that they're 32 years apart, right? What are the chances that Kai Sinat's name equals 32 in Gematria. On top of that, Kai Sinat's birthday is 42 days after Diddy's birthday. As you guys can see, Diddy's birthday is November 4th and Kai's birthday is December 16th, which is exactly 42 days later. 
and Diddy's nickname Puff Dad equals 42 in Gematria. I can't make this up, man. And we talked about the number 42 a lot on our Patreon because this number is used in so many rituals. I highly recommend you guys join the Patreon and watch these two videos. Shout out to Divine Sade for doing all this research and putting these two videos together on our Patreon. The link's in the description below. Another connection is with Kai Sinat's full name. So Kai Sinat's full name is Kai Carlos Sinat. So Diddy is 54 years old right now at the time of him getting arrested and being all over the media, right? So what are the chances that his other character's full name, Kai Carlos Sinet, also equals 54? And like I said, this entire case with Diddy is all fake and it's all staged to deceive you. This is why Kai Sinet, Sean Combs, and Deception all have the same gematria of 152 and 912 in the same two ciphers. So don't believe the media. I exposed all of the scripting with Diddy's case in this video. And I even exposed Cassie and her other characters in this video as well. So go watch this video. If you want to know how Diddy's entire case is staged and scripted, the link's in the description below. Now let's get into the base character of Diddy and Kai Sinat. As you guys can see, it's very obvious that Diddy's base character is Aaron Hall. So like I said before, it's the same thing they did with Kai Sinat. Once Aaron Hall's character started getting older, they created a new character called Diddy and they based him off the same image as Aaron Hall. When they were designing Diddy's character, they used Aaron Hall's template and they changed a couple features like his nose and made him a rapper. And now you have a new celebrity that is completely recycled from an older celebrity because all celebrities are recycled. As you guys can see, Diddy is just a recycled version of Aaron Hall. This is why they look exactly alike. They even have the same facial hair again, just like Kai Sinat. So this is why Kai Sinat had this bald cap on because he was referencing his base character, Aaron Hall. So here's another really good comparison of Diddy. I mean, Kai Sinat and Aaron Hall. I always get them confused because they look so much alike. And the nail in the coffin is that all three of these characters have the same exact gematria. As you can see, Aaron Hall is 53, Sean Combs is 53, and Kai Sinat is also 53 in the reverse reduction cipher. And once again, they put it right in our face. Diddy's character was created in New York. Aaron Hall's character was also created in the Bronx, New York. And Kai Sinat's character was also created in the Bronx of New York. So not only are all three of these characters from New York, but Kai Sinat and Aaron Hall are directly from the Bronx. So they literally made these characters in the same exact place and had them infiltrate in the same exact city. It can't get any more obvious than that. So now let's get into all of the damage control and all of the responses that Diddy, Kai Sinat, and even Aaron Hall have done since me and Divine Sade exposed all of their characters. If you guys want to watch the original videos, the link's in the description. So first, let's talk about their response that they did with Aaron Hall. So right after my video, where I exposed how Aaron Hall is their base character, they came out and sued Diddy three times. And on the third one, it was about allegations of a 1990s incident with Aaron Hall. So these two characters are the same, and they both have a lawsuit about these allegations. You know, I can't say the R word, so I'm gonna just say rapping, but it's basically rapping with one p and i think this is why they call them rappers because if you take out one p you know you get the r word so that's a really weird word that they made like that on purpose so for the sake of this video i'm just going to call it rapping but you guys know what i'm talking about because i can't say the words that are on the screen but you guys can read it for yourself so the biggest connection with all of this is that right after i made those videos exposing them they came out with these rapping allegations of diddy and aaron hall and then they came out with allegations of Kai Sinat and his friend rapping a girl at a party. As you guys can see, this woman claims that a friend of Kai Sinat rapped her at a party. And here's the details that she gave. She said on January 1st, 2023, keep in mind this was two months after my original Diddy is Kai Sinat video. So she said on January 1st, 2023, she was rapped at a party. And she was invited to this party by Kai Sinet. So Kai Sinet was inviting her to this party. And as I continued to read the article, they said that this party was hosted by Kai Sinet. 
So we all know that Diddy is trending all over social media for these nasty parties that he had allegedly, right? Because it's all fake. But that's a huge connection because what are the chances that after we expose Diddy, they come out and say that Kai Sinet hosted a party and this nasty event happened. So I'm not going to read the rest of this, but you guys can read it for yourself. But keep in mind, all of this is fake and staged, just like everything going on with Diddy. So right after they did that, Diddy started trending for all of these allegations of him rapping people, right? And Kai Sinet responded by making the phrase, no Diddy, more popular with his video. Check this out. Diddy? Me. Yeah. saying no Diddy? Just saying Diddy instead of instead of um pause. That's crazy. Just saying Diddy instead of pause. Yep. Yeah, no, no, I ain't gonna lie. No Diddy, you are no, no Diddy. Diddy. No, no Diddy. No Diddy. Hey, no Diddy, what? <laughs> bro, no Diddy. So all of these videos that I'm about to show you are videos of Kai Sinat referencing Diddy in some type of way, and these are all damage control to our videos because we literally been exposing how he's one of Diddy's characters. So this is why he keeps talking about Diddy. Here's another response. So in this response, Kai Sinat was beefing with his character and she responded by calling him P. Diddy Jr. Check this out. Oh, we taking people to court? What's I'm ready to take you to court, little P. Diddy Jr. He talking about you trying to sell me to one of your homies and all that shit. Don't forget about it. I got all that in the T too. Receipt for that too. So here's the next response that Diddy actually did himself. So after we exposed Diddy for being Kai Sinet, Diddy followed Kai Sinet. So this is Diddy's way of admitting that he's Kai Sinet, you know, because why would he do this right after our videos? And they only surfaced the news about this this year. But if you guys remember, I actually showed this back in December of 2023. As you guys can see, here's the original screenshot I made of when Diddy followed Kai Sinet back in December of 2023. And I even made a video about this on December 10th, 2023. So in my Diddy video of his humiliation ritual with Cassie, I showed how Diddy followed Kai. And keep in mind, this was way back in December of 2023. And seven months later, Kai Sinat reacts to Diddy following him on Instagram. So this is very strange because why would he react about this seven months after my video? It's as if he watched my video and saw that I mentioned that Diddy followed him. And now he decided to make a video reacting to the situation and it was all damage control and them admitting the truth in plain sight because all of these media outlets started putting it out there including the breakfast club so here's the clip of kai Sina reacting to diddy following him on instagram kai been to a diddy party I never fall. So like I said, this is their way of admitting the truth in plain sight. Why would Diddy follow Kai Sinet right after me and Devon Shadi exposed them? So not only did Kai Sinet respond by reacting to our videos and with all these references to Diddy, but also Diddy directly responded himself. So this is one of the first times where we've gotten both characters to respond and admit the truth in plain sight after we exposed them. So after he reacted to Diddy following him, he posted a message that Diddy left in Kai Sinat's DMs and he said, Kai, you should definitely come to my party. Now let's move on to the next damage control response that Kai Sinat has done. So in one of his live streams, he claims that Diddy was in his chat. Check this out. Hey, is that Diddy watching? Hold on, wait. Diddy, get the f out of my chat, bro. Not me, I'm not going. Bro, get the f out of my chat, bro. You a fucking weirdo. So Kai Sinat just keeps responding over and over. You know, it doesn't end there. There's so many more that I'm going to show you guys. In this one, he has another live stream and he has a kid freestyling on there. And the kid, of course, mentions Diddy. Check this out. Y'all got one chance and one chance only. We're going to make this quick. Come on now. Diddy. Yeah. Got some baby oil. What? <laughs> what the hell he just say? Nah, somebody get him, bro. He said Diddy bought some baby oil. So the kid purposely mentioned Diddy because the kid is involved. He's a character too. Everybody that they have on their streams is also a character and they're all a part of the deception because they're not real children. They're made the same way as celebrities. 
This is why Kai even looked exactly like Diddy when he was a child. And I'll show you guys that later on in the video. So in this next video, Kai Sinat is playing this very weird game where it's like a AI Tyler that he's playing with. Right after he's about to do something nasty with Tyler or AI Tyler, Diddy pops up and he gets scared and starts screaming. Check this out. I'll be you what the f I was just wondering how you've been. What you mean how I've been? Ever since I said, you know, friends though. Like, you've just been acting like this then. It's like you don't really want me for real. You confusing me. You know what, f*** it. Let's go to the back right now. Don't come with You know, I've been feeling you for a while, you know. And I, I feel like it's a way for me to show you. Oh! <laughs> I'd rather do this at the crib, type. You try to suck ah! 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 Devon Sade has a really good video about Tyler, by the way. If you guys are interested in that, I'll put a link in the description. So in the next response, Kai Sinat decided to go on live and he called an AI Diddy. And this AI stuff is getting really creepy. I made an entire live stream and two videos in the past about it. I recommend you guys check those out. I'll put a link to my playlist of all my AI videos in the description. But this is another response because why is Kai Sinat trying to call an AI version of Diddy. Diddy? I'm mother did. I'm P goddamn Diddy. Oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so I thought about it, and his name is Kai, right? If you move the K to the side, you get AI. So his name is literally K-A-I. So this is predictive programming to let us know that AI is going to be a big thing in the future. And this is why all of these live streamers keep promoting it. And AI is very demonic. You know, I did an entire live stream about that. And I will be making more videos on Patreon going deeper into that topic. But anyways, another response that they did was Your Rage also called the AI version of Diddy. And he told him Kai Sinat loves going to his parties. Check this out. Has Kai Sinat been to a Diddy party? Kai Sinat, yeah, he, he's been to a couple of my parties. I'll give him that. He's a cool kid, got a lot of energy, and he knows how to get a crowd going. But like I said before, crowd, my parties ain't for just anyone. Kai's still a relatively new player in the industry, so I don't usually have him on my guest list. But hey, I like to throw a bone to the up-and-comers every now and then, you feel me? So that was a huge response to my video because he did that right after he reacted to my video of Diddy being Kai Sinat. If you want to watch your Rage's reaction to my video, go watch this video. The link's in the description. So another way that Kai Sinat has been responding to this, he keeps linking up with the same people that Diddy used to be around. So Diddy used to be around Drake a lot. And of course, Kai Sinat now has a picture with Drake. And then Diddy used to be around Nicki Minaj a lot. And now Kai Sinat did a live stream with Nicki Minaj. And notice how Nicki Minaj has a blonde wig while she's with Diddy and while she's with Kai Sinat. And she also has a music video with Diddy. Diddy is covering his mouth and it looks like he's wearing a mask. So he's basically doing predictive programming of the events that took place in 2020. And a huge connection here is that Kai Sinat also did predictive programming in his live stream with Nicki Minaj on Instagram. So in this live stream, he told her that he was going to get arrested. Check this out. And you don't even know I'm about to go to jail. What? You got my bail? You going to bail me out or not? Why are you going to jail? Seven days is crazy. But why? Because like, like. The riots? No, no, no. Not because of that. Hell no, hell no, hell no, hell no. Not because of that. But it's seven days. I'm in that. I'm like, I just need somebody to bail me out. You going to bail me out? What you trying, trying to get money? You trying to tell me this thing? No, I'm just saying, like, like, would you bail me out if I was in jail? Like, I'll bail you out. Yes, I would. You know, we turn it to the board, you know. <laughs> so we locked in. You know, I'm a sad too, you know that, right? So he was doing predictive programming that his other character was about to get arrested because sure enough, about a year after this live stream, Diddy ends up getting arrested. Another connection is Drewski, which I will be making a video about very soon. As you guys can see, Drewski has this video with Diddy that people keep circulating. And of course, Kai Sinat is very close friends with Drewski. They have multiple live streams together. And then we see that Diddy 
has his picture with Kevin Hart and they were very close. And now Kevin Hart has a live stream with Kai Sinat. So he's literally around the same exact people that Diddy used to be around. And notice how Kai Sinat has the animal print carpet in his room. And the reason he has that is because the animal print subconsciously makes you want to be animalistic. It activates the animalistic part of your brain. And NPCs are very animalistic. So this is why they love these type of live streams where Kai Sinat is just acting very animalistic. And being animalistic is the lowest nature of a human. Not only did he do a live stream with him, but it was a sleepover stream. And I find this very weird because Kevin Hart is 45 years old. So in comparison to Kai Sinat, he's very old to be around this guy. He's more than twice his age. So they're literally pushing the P agenda with this because why would a 22 year old invite a 45 year old man to sleep over at his house just because they're celebrities doesn't mean it's not weird and they're subconsciously pushing that p agenda and maybe this is why kai's other character is called p diddy you know he has that p in there because they're pushing that p agenda and i can't say the p word but you guys know what i'm talking about so the next connection is with snoop dogg as you guys can see diddy has many pictures with snoop dogg and recently, Kai Sinat did a commercial with Snoop Dogg. And this is a weird one because I didn't expect this one. So Diddy has a picture with John Cena. And now we see that Kai Sinat did a live stream with John Cena. So if you don't know that Diddy is Kai Sinat, you wouldn't understand why Kai is even with these people. But once you know his other character, it all starts to make sense. Now let's get into the Cassie and Zendaya connection. Me and Devon Sade have videos exposing how Cassie is Zendaya. And she made this video over two years ago. Which is crazy because she made this video years before this entire Cassie situation even blew up. And I made a video about this 10 months ago. So I highly recommend you guys go watch our videos on this topic. Zendaya is one of Cassie's characters. And they look exactly alike right here. And this is a huge connection because Diddy used to date Cassie, right? And now we see that Kai Sinat has a live stream with Zendaya. And Zendaya is Cassie's other character. And even though this is not actually Zendaya, this is another one of Zendaya's characters. You know, I don't know her name, but they just called her a Zendaya lookalike. But either way, this is still one of Zendaya's characters. So they're admitting in plain sight that Kai is Diddy and that Cassie is Zendaya. So they're hanging around the same people just through their other characters and the huge connection here is that Zendaya had a show called KC Undercover. This is a reference to Kai Sinat because Kai Sinat's initials are KC and he's with Zendaya's other character. You know I can't make this up it's all in plain sight and on top of that when Duke Dennis was reacting to Devon Sade's video he called Kai Sinat KC3000. So Diddy is KC1, Sabar is KC2 and you KC3000? I knew it! Oh you got me. And if you put it together, it's basically saying Kai Sinat undercover because he's Diddy in a new vessel. And also the KC sounds like Cassie, which is Zendaya's other character. So this is all interconnected and these are deep connections right here because they love to have these riddles. And another connection is that Kai Sinat reacted to the footage of Diddy and Cassie. The nail in the coffin with these two characters is the fact that they're both very zesty characters on the world stage so here's a picture of kai acting very zesty at a young age and notice how he looks identical to diddy even when he was younger and of course this is a connection to diddy because diddy is a very fruity character so diddy is a very fruity character and of course kai sanat is also a very fruity character here's a very zesty photo of kai being very subliminal of what he's doing to duke dennis so yeah, me and Devon Sade have been exposing this for over two years now. Make sure you guys share this video so that people can stop being distracted and letting their energy be harvested. This is why we made four live streams exposing Diddy and his nasty agendas in the media. We even made one about how he might be next to go. The link to all of these live streams is in the description below. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. At this point, if you watched my video all the way to the end, there should be no doubt in your mind that Kai Sinat and Diddy are the same. And make sure you guys get more people to see this video. So make sure you drop a like, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications, subscribe to my Patreon. The link's in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'm out. You know what I'm going for? You know what I'm going for. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to, I'm about to sign that deal. I want to sign a deal. <laughs>